Splatoon, Splatoon in general has become a has become one of the has become the channel's biggest franchise, selling nearly a nearly almost 10 million copies between both Splatoon One for Wii U <coughs> and Splatoon Two for Nintendo Switch. So, before we got the idea for the Inklings, Nintendo almost made Yoshi. Splatoon's main character, so instead of seeing the Inklings, we've gotten like Yoshi with the with the Inkling gun going or with the Inkling rollers and gun and the and the guns and the snipers, but they just let it hand it down to the new these new characters, the Inklings. Hello, viewers, and plus studier, and we're about to read an article about how Nintendo almost made Yoshi Splatoon's main character. It would have been just Yoshi, no Inklings. Bef this, like, this idea was before, way before the idea of the Inklings came into place in the tenements to create Splatoon, so... For the way, let's get started to so find out more information about this interesting backstory. The article is coming, this article is coming from Gamnesia. Splatoon has be quickly become one of Nintendo's biggest franchises, sealing ne nearly 10 million copies across two games since 2015. Naturally, this, this has put the game's inklings in the spotlight, made them instant fan favorites. However, this, was on, this wasn't always the plan. Long before Nintendo decided on Squids and Kids, they started numerous options for Splatoon protagonists, and the job almost went to Yoshi. Like, we almost sort of saw Yoshi, as you see here in the screenshot, you can see Yoshi's having one of the guns, and pretty much... You can see oh no, you can see two Yoshis here, so you almost got on this game be called like Yoshi Tune or something. In the early days of Splatoon's development, the playable characters were simply represented as blocks of tofu. Eventually, teams shifted to rabbit characters, but when they realized they had no good explanation for why rabbits were issued ink, they began to be using an existing Nintendo IP. At this point, Yoshi entered the picture. Game spot. During your presentation, you showed an image of Yoshi and it looked like he was in the game. With the rabbits and with the tofu, this was obviously a prototype, but the but the Yoshi felt like much further along. How far did you how far uh, where am I? How far did you get with putting Nintendo characters and other characters that were familiar with in the game? I think that option was we, we were considering of whether or not to use pre-existing characters or IP came right around the time that we started to have doubts about our rabbit characters. We thought, okay, if not if not rabbits, then maybe we consider these other characters. Because even Mario is possibly considered to be in the game. Like, we'll see Mario to spin around, at, but we have the Inklings. Let's see, of course, as Nintendo developers, we're aware of the stable pre-existing characters we have and their appeal to players. It's not that we had found a character that was perfectly matched for the t to the type of gameplay we were trying to create that we would have been not considered going with it. For Yoshi, he could come in many colors, change his color. He was in this case more appealing than a better fit than Mario. But then, when you get that far and think, well, okay, Yoshi could change his color, that makes him suitable. You're on the same questions. Why would Yoshi shoot ink or dive into ink? Is it okay that he, he wouldn't shoot his tongue out th or throw eggs like he typically does? Game spot. In that prototype, did Yoshi hold a gun or was he just shooting the ink of his mouth? Well, Hayashi Nogami. Uh, well, at the stage, we're considering putting pre-existing IP to the game, including Yoshi. We had decided that th this is a game where you want to have a large variety of weapons and tools for you to use in order to shoot ink in different ways. We were already pre pretty far along with that idea. So rather than just give Yoshi the ability to shoot ink out of his mouth in one particular way, we had, had them hold these weapons that already started to design. I quite enjoy the, the... Uh, this is from like the narrator's perspective. I quite enjoy the idea of an army of Yoshis batting out with ink guns, but Nintendo's choice of creating all new characters has clearly paid off in a big way. You can check out some of the Splatoon 2, Splat uh, the Splatoon character prototype images by clicking the gallery below. Like there's Yoshi, then we got the rabbits, like the rabbit you were to see, like, rap, like, the Splatoon, like, rabbits carrying the guns, a tofu block, then we got squids, but then we got the inklings. So, with this interesting, or with this interesting idea, wouldn't it have been cool to see, like, it would have been cool to see, like, Yoshi and Splatoon, but of course, we got our, it's still good, at least we got the inklings, and it's cool to see this, this, I possible, that this was a, 
idea at first with Splatoon. So we're going to see like Nintendo IPs being possibly appearing alongside besides Yoshi. So, guys, what do you think? Do you think it was cool to see Yoshi as a prototype idea for Splatoon? Would have been cool to see him. Would have also been cool to see Yoshi spider him, spider out ink. But again, the same question: like, why would Yoshi shoot ink? <coughs> like, why? He has to have a certain purpose for it. Besides trying to go, besides trying to win, but besides that, what else? Otherwise, viewers, be sure to answer, be sure to think of an answer to that question, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.